Hi guys, this is Make Everyday Looks. If you want to get this simple ish, easy daytime glam, then just keep on watching. I am going out for lunch with a good friend today and I have a little bit of time to get ready, so I thought I would sit down and film my makeup. I'm just gonna do like a bit of a simple, sorry guys, just grabbing my mirror. It's from Anthropology. I'm gonna do a simple but kind of nice day glam kind of look um, for today. So first thing I'm gonna start with is primer. My favorite primer, Smashbox. It's in the silver tube, I believe now. And I like this one because I'm at the age where I have a few wrinkles. So this is a silicone-y type filling. You get a bit of a fill, a bit of a smoothness. And I need all the smoothness that I can get. So I'm gonna take a pea-sized amount and just dab that on each plane of the face and rub that in with my hands. This will give me a nice, smooth base to work with. Okay, now that's applied. My next step is foundation. And this is my go-to daily foundation, um, the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. I absolutely love it, um, it's six pound a bottle, it looks like skin, it's good coverage, love, 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 love. So, give this a shake, and I'm just gonna do a few pumps of this on my fingertips, and slap it on. I like to blend it in with my fingers first and then with a beauty sponge because beauty sponge soaks up a lot of product and I don't like waste. So once I've I like to do my eyelids too, so my whole face is the same colour and then you can bring a little bit down onto your neck, even though if you've picked the right foundation shade. There should be no difference between your neck and your face. However, I'm a bit paler this winter, I can already see. So the foundation is a little bit warmer than my complexion. So now I'm gonna bounce. Um, I think this is a beauty blender. I don't always use a beauty blender. Sometimes I use the cheapy alternative. I like them all, but I do like the finish a sponge gives. So I'm just gonna bounce all over the old face until I'm nice and blended. I can already tell that I'm gonna to have to use some concealer because I do have a lot of blemishes at the moment. Um, I'm not really sure why. I don't know if it's hormones or a new product. I have been using a new cleansing oil that I'm worried might be a little bit rich my skin um, but I'm not sure I'll investigate might stop using it for a few days and seeing if, if anything happens if my little friends go away so I think that's nice and blended now I've still got imperfections peeking through even though it is coverage foundation I could do another layer I'm going to do another tiny bit I think actually um, I'm just going to pump this directly onto the sponge just one one pump and I am going to just kind of dot that on the problem areas and then bounce that in hmm. don't you hate it when you get an itch when you're blending your makeup and you don't want to stop and you don't want to itch and mess up the makeup. I've got an itchy nose right now. Okay. I think that is going to do me for foundation. I sometimes go over the top and then my mum and my boyfriend will complain that I've got a lot of makeup on and you'll end up looking really old when you go into the daylight, if you've got layers and layers and layers of makeup piled on, look older than you are. Okay, 
concealer time. So the first type of concealer that I'm going to use is like an under eye brightening one. This is the Tarte Shape Tape, the new glowy formula for under the eyes which I have been loving. This is a shade Sunbeam. So I'm going to just sweep that under each eye. And I'm also going to put that in my smile lines since it reflects light. Put a little bit in that creasy there. And then I'm going to bounce that in with my sponge. Ooh, I love it. It's really, really light reflecting, which I need under my eyes because the shape of my eye, I think it might be to do with aging a bit, lose volume underneath my eye um, area, so it creates a shadow. So anything light reflecting is good for me. And I just bounce the excess of that on my chin and forehead just to give a bit of brightening to the face. Right, now I do need some of the classic shape tape for my concealer. I use the shade Light Neutral and I'm just gonna dot this on individual blemishes, which I have got quite a lot at the moment. Do a bit around the nose, da, da, da. like dot the dot, um, and then I'm going to take my same sponge again and just ever so gently bounce, 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 bounce. Okay, oh, I love shape tape. It's just so good, good coverage. Um, but it is not the most natural looking concealer. It's as good as everyone says it is, um, but if you already have good skin, I would use something a bit lighter. Maybe the Becca Aqualuminous Concealer is nice if you just have minor blemishes. Okay, again, I can still see a few of those spots peeking through, but I'm going to lunch. I don't want to look overdone. Real skin is okay. So let's roll with it. Um, I think I'm going to do eyes next. And I'm going to use my new baby. I got this um, Natasha Denona green and gold palette in, I picked it up in the sale, in one of the Christmas sales, and it was half price. It was still expensive. And it's already, <laughs> looks like I've had it 10 years. Um, I promised myself I'd never buy another um, eyeshadow palette again. Um, but we all know that's probably not true. So I think I'm going to go with the browns. And I'm probably going to start off with just this shade here. Top shade on the row of browns. Not sure what it's called because I'm not very professional. Um, but I will put it in the description box. Okay, so it's just um, one of the Anastasia brushes that you get with the palettes that I'm going to use. Um, so I've tapped off the excess. And, oh, I'm just going to pat down the creasing on my eyelid. And I'm going to blend that in the crease. I'm going to do windshield wiper motions backwards and forwards. Okay. got to tap. It's very pigmented so you can get a bit carried away with that. Okay. I should have tapped that but it's okay because this is very blendable and I'll just keep blending. Mm, a little heavier really than I was going for for day but I'll just keep blending it right up to the brow bone. That's not too bad. A um, bit more, tapped it off that time and I'm just gonna do a bit more all over the lid. Oh, And then I'm gonna take the flat side of the brush 
um, and tap. And I'm just going to draw that underneath so I've got a little bit of something going on under the eye. Um, I can see that my concealer has creased underneath my eye, but that's okay. I'm just going to tap that out. I might set that with some powder later. Um, I don't really like using a lot of powder because I think it makes me look older. So I'm again using the flat side to just press more of that shadow on the lash line. I was doing a soft daytime look um, and I'm in danger of going over the top there so I'm going to stop but I want a little bit of shimmer because I love shimmer so what I'm going to do I'm going to dip into again with the flat side of the brush this second brown shade second down um, same brush just the flat side and press that on oh that's nice just a little bit because it's lunch <laughs> it's lunch i'm in danger of getting too carried away and then i'm going to go back over with the other side and just blend the edges that's okay for lunch right okay so i am going to grab a brown Eyeliner just to tie that all in. Um, it's the Cargo Swimmables in shade Dorado Beach. So I'm going to pop that in my waterline just to tie that all in. And let's face it, we need it in a corner highlight. So I'm going to use the other side of that flat brush that I haven't used yet and I'm going to dip it into this gorgeous gold shade that I love for an inner corner highlight. It's called Antique Gold and it's stunning. So just popping that into my inner corner and dragging it down ever so slightly to meet up with that brown shade. Maybe this is not a lunchtime look. What am I going to do? Um, I am going to um, turn off the camera now. I'll do the other side because it's boring. I'll be right back, guys. I'm back. Um, I've done the other eye and I think they kind of match. Um, so I'm going to move on and do a little bit of contour now um, to give my face some shape. I'm just going to be using the Beauty Art, Beauty Pie um, Quick Contour Super Colour Super Gel um, and this is in shade 1. I accidentally left the um, doodah switched on so I've had a bit of a flood but this, I really love this. Um, the applicator reminds me a bit of the Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't think we're supposed to say that, are we? Because um, this is much cheaper if you're in the club. But I love this one. It's lovely. It's really natural. So I've just put a bit of that on the forehead, under the cheekbones and on the jawline. And I'm just going to blend that in with a different area of my sponge. The sponge absorbs quite a lot of the product. Um, but it gives a really, really natural finish, which I like. I don't like too much of an obvious stripey contour, um, but I do like this one. It's really natural. I think it just gives a little bit of something. Um, for blush, I'm gonna use my Clinique Chubby Stick. This is Robust Rhubarb and it's just, it's a really natural, really natural colour. So I'm just going to draw, I think you're supposed to draw crosses on your cheeks. Don't know where I read that, um, 
but I really like this one, it's really natural. And then I'm going to just use the heat of my fingertips to melt this into my face to give a natural flush. And did you know you're supposed to do a little bit on your nose as well to make you look youthful and fresh? And I need all the youthfulness I can get. I'm 37 this year, guys. What can you do? Um, okay, so now I'm going to do, I know it's daytime, but I'm going to do a little bit of highlight. This is the Natasha Denona Glow Face Shimmer. Now, I was a bit scared when I heard shimmer, but the shimmer's so fine, it's not visible. It's beautiful. Um, this is shade one light. So I'm just going to draw that on my cheekbone area, a little bit on the little boop of the nose and the cupid's bow i don't know if you can see on camera but this just adds just use a clean finger to pat that in just gives a little bit of something okay i'm happy with that what have i got left to do Hmm. I don't think I'm going to do eyebrows because I'm going for natural look um, but if I was going to do eyebrows I would have used my um, Tarte Busy Girl Brows um, that I've got shade medium brown and that is a nice eye gel. The wand is tiny so it's really easy to apply um, but I'm not going to do brows I'm just going to do a bit of mascara setting spray and a lip. Um, I'll start with a setting spray. Oh, I know what I want to do. I lied. I want to do a little bit of brightening under my eyes. Um, if I can find a makeup sponge. It was in between my legs. So, like I said, I do have shadowing before. So I use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Just put my beauty blender in there to pick a lip little bit of the powder up and then I'm going to make a funny face and just pat that on don't know if you can see the difference on camera but it does make a subtle but important difference I would say and brings some brightness to the eye area it does have little reflective particles in it but it's not a bit spread that around a little bit into my T-zone area, because we know that if I'm gonna get shiny, that's gonna be the place. Um, I'm not gonna use a setting powder because I don't need this makeup to last for hours and hours and hours. And I, I do, I think powder just makes me look older. If you have a more mature skin like myself, um, so I'm gonna leave it there. If I was gonna use a powder, I like the NARS um, Light Reflecting Loose Powder because you know I'm all about the glow. Um, Laura Mercier, their loose setting powder is a good matte one. I am gonna add a little bit more blush to the cheeks. I'm not even gonna do bronzer. If I was gonna use bronzer though, I was gonna use this bad boy, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, oh my God. Best bronzer I've ever used, including all the posh ones. And it smells incredible. It smells like a coconut fuel beach holiday. I'm obsessed. I told my brother about it and he's obsessed because he's not adverse to a little bit of makeup once every now and then. Um, I'm liking it. So what I'm going to do now is set it and forget it. This is my favourite setting spray. It's the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. It's such a fine mist. It gives such a dewy, oops, finish. Just dropped it on the floor and broken it. Hopefully I can fix it. You see, that's why it's my favourite. So I am going to spray this on. Mm, so cooling and refreshing and such a fine mist. I'm gonna fan it dry. Ooh la la. Oh, that feels nice and cool. I need to turn my central heating off. You know, cause it's winter. Do you ever put the heating on and then realize 
That was on too high for too long, and now I feel like I'm in a vivarium. Okay, so almost there, guys. I'm going to do a touch of, sorry, I didn't show you. This is the Glossier Lash Slick. It's black, but it's really natural looking. I usually like to wear a brown mascara during the day, but I thought that might blend in a bit too much. Oh, I need to blend that in a corner action out a bit. Um, I don't really like using brown mascara and brown eyeshadow. Um, so I'm using this. It doesn't make the lashes really, really thick and clumpy. It just gives nice definition and separation. So I am a fan. Could, might get more dramatic if you did an extra coat. I think I've smudged it a bit there, but it's okay. You can just wait for it to dry and then knock it off with a cotton bud or a q-tip for my American friends um, so lashes just gonna do a last little bounce with my beauty blender to blend everything in um, last but not least I'm gonna be eating and drinking so I'm just gonna use a lip gloss oh this is the Pat McGrath Oh, love it. Um, it's Lust Gloss and it's shade Flesh Astral. Now this one is so reflective, so juicy. No point putting red lipstick on when you're eating and drinking, I don't think. She's where rarely wear red lipstick, even though I love the way it looks. So this does have a little sparkles in again. They're really, really fine. Um, I'm happy with that makeup look. Um, I'm just gonna go do something with my hair. I'm back. I haven't done too much with my hair because it's blowing gale force winds out there. So it'd only get messed up anyway, probably. Um, so last step, I'm just gonna take a dry Q-tip or cotton bud and just gently buff off that little bit of mascara. And I've decided I do want to do brows because they were looking a bit bland next to my eyes. So I'm just going to comb this busy brows through. You see how small and tiny that brush is? So you get a lot of control. I love it. Yeah, I think this is helping. Um, just tidy those eyebrows up. So. I don't think I did too bad um, with the daytime soft glam. Um, kept the cheeks and lips really simple, so I think I get away with the glittery eyeshadow. Um, thank you for joining me. I'll link everything in the description box down below. And I'm off to be a lady who lunches. Hope you guys have a fab day. Guys, why didn't you tell me I had a harsh line on my neck? Luckily, I just caught it in the other mirror um, and blended it. Always check that you don't have a hash line on the neck.